Hey, this is Ed from Stencil One, and this is Make It Mondays video number four. And rolling out this series, uh, connecting with you online, and uh, showing you DIY projects using stencils and uh, paints. So we have a lot of cool projects for you uh, this time. I'm going to show you how to stencil. Uh, let's see, we're going to do some glass, which is really cool, like these uh, seven-day candles that come plain and you could get them at grocery stores. So we're going to put some uh, bats all over those using some uh, Pebeo Vitral glass paint, which I love. And um, we're going to do some wood ornaments that are traditionally um, holiday ornaments, but uh, like Christmas time, but we're going to put a holiday twist on them. and. What else? I'm looking at my list here. I'm cheating. Um, some canvas where I'm going to decoupage onto the canvas. And uh, I'll show you the, some things we did last week as well. So, um, hi Nikki. Uh, we're on Facebook Live right now and you could join in and ask questions. When I flip the camera around and start painting over here on my desk, I can't see the questions as easy. So. Um, Anything you want to ask, just post it, and then I can answer it later if I don't get to it on the live uh, uh, recording. And then I also post all these videos to our YouTube and re-embed them in our website so you can watch them at a later time. So, um, let's see. I, I have a um, new friend that I want to introduce you to. Um, <laughs> so, uh, it's this stencil of a cactus but I keep laughing because um, so we're gonna put this on our website in a few days and um, I just think cactus are really cute because it kind of looks like a very animated human so at first I painted it to show you what it would look like but then I added a little something else to it because um, I'm gonna give this to my niece and I thought she'd think it was funny so um, googly eyes on it <laughs> and uh, they shake yeah so yes this will be like six bucks on our website um, and you can make endless bags and shirts and all that with it um, what else so um, I introduced you to the cactus um, on our Facebook page uh, which is sorry for the noise there's a lot of trucks out here in Brooklyn um, on our Facebook page, there's a, I put up a lot of links to everything that I'm going to speak about today, so you can easily find it. Um, where we are on Pinterest, if you're on Pinterest, we just put up a top 13 of our uh, Halloween tutorials, so you could see it all rounded up there. Um, and um, what else? Um, I also put up some links to some artists I'm going to mention. And I put up our sales code because we're still having the sale on Halloween stencils for 20% uh, off and uh, using Halloween 20 uh, at checkout. So uh, you'll see that code on the website. Uh, I'm on the Facebook page. And um, yeah, I think we should just get right into it. And I'm going to show you uh, some are just really out of the box thinking about Halloween and giving it a nice twist. So I'm going to um, step over this way. Okay, so I'll give you a quick overview and show you some things we did last, the last few times as well. Um, I'm going to start with these um, paints by Pebeo called Vitrao, and they're for glass, and they give you a really great like stained glass look. It's like painting with glass, so I just I really love these paints. Um, and I'm going to paint these, you've probably seen these long candles um, at grocery stores and I'm putting bats all over them. Here's some I've done already and I have the stencil on here ready to do more. Um, and you saw the owl last week, if not you can recap that in our old videos. Um, also our Halloween banners. And we did this painting uh, that I'll show you how to do paintings with the uh, monster stencils. Um, and this is what I'm excited to show you, these ornaments, which traditionally we do like these like holiday looks to it, but um, I painted
painted them solid colors and we're going to put these guys on there. Um, and then a little decoupage thing we're going to get to on black canvas. Um, I printed out this Transylvania map and tore it up and did this little like, mixed media Halloween painting. Um, and here's some things from from uh, past posts that are all awesome for Halloween. And these are coming soon. The uh, Halloween, I couldn't find pumpkins yet at the market, so I went and got these um, fake ones. But they must have cast real pumpkins because they look great. Um, oh, and that's a etched mirror here, um, a vintage mirror I have, and I etched it. And you can learn how to etch mirrors and a lot of other stuff in my detailed class uh, that I offer through our website. You'll see the link. Uh, it's on Craftsy. But if you go to the link on our site, I also posted it to Facebook. You'll see how you can etch mirrors and do a lot of other stuff. So I'm going to start back over here with the bat candle. Um, and I'm going to just put my camera in the um, tripod. Bear with me, thank you. Now, you've seen maybe these mason jars that I've painted. And see, I'm having some lemonade right now in this one. And there's a Jolly Roger I stenciled onto here. Um, I used um, multi-surface paint for these, um, and then you had to bake them in the oven. But uh, these um, paints by Pebio, um, they just give you like this really great effect, sort of see-through and shiny. They're just beautiful. So I'm going to show you how I did that. Um, it's the candle. So a little hard to see here. Let's see. The bats are here already. And then I tape the stencil again. What's great is our stencils are flexible, and this one is three bats, and it says Happy Halloween below it. Now you're seeing black on black. It's a little hard to see, but the bat shapes are here. And what I'm doing is I poured out some of the um, paint, and I'm using these foam cosmetic sponges, um, and I'm picking up some of it. And I already put a layer in here. Um, I'm just going to move the light. And I'm basically filling in by pressing up and down with the lightest amount of this paint. Um, it takes two layers, and I did one before we got on camera here. Here you can see this one, it's not filled in so well. So you dry it a, a bit off on the side here, and then just an up and down motion. See? You're filling in the shape. But this is controlling how much paint you're using. It really doesn't let you overload. It's great. These brushes, uh, foam makeup brush, uh, sponges. And here, this one you could see is not filled in. It looks kind of brown and cloudy. Well, one more layer. These paints build up nicely, so, um, and as the candle burns, you'll be able to see through the paint a little bit. Um, I think it will be really cool to have these as Halloween decor in the house. So I'm just filling in all these little cutouts, and when it's all filled in, and remember I did one layer before I got on here, just so you wouldn't be watching me watch paint dry. <laughs> but uh, we could peel this before it even dries. Um, and then you get the effect more so. And before I stuck the stencil on, I put some of this uh, low-tech adhesive on the back to uh, hold the stencil in place. So, there. So now we have that's all around, and I could add more, and I'm going to keep probably adding more to it, but um, I think this will look really cool, very black and white, 
Uh, you could have a whole black and white themed Halloween. Um, I think it's great. And also, keeping it real, there's a little smudge there. What you can do with an X-Acto knife is just scratch off that little part that went outside if it bothers you so much. Um, but yeah, that is how you paint glass. And I have really detailed videos on Craftsy on how to paint glass as well. Um, speaking of painting glass, when I showed you that mason jar, when you're shopping for them, um, just find the ones that have this flat surface. And you see there's usually like dimensional writing on here. Um, but some don't have a flat area that you could paint, so make sure you get the ones with the uh, nice surface for you to uh, paint all over. And I'll do more glass probably as, uh, as the weeks go by. So that is glass. Um, I love that project. Now, moving along. <laughs> these, uh, I gave you a little sneak peek of these holiday ornaments. Now, these come blank and they are uh, recycled wood that is, uh, what do they call it, MDF. So it's chopped up old wood and then it's compressed and shaped into these forms. And um, these are made in the USA and they are made by a company that I uh, sourced these from that rehabilitates people with addictions teaches them woodworking, and gives them housing. So uh, it's great to purchase from them and purchase in the U.S. and uh, especially the, uh, they're, they're helping people. So I think that's awesome. Well, we sell these, you know, typically I was like, oh, these are great. And I did these shapes for, for you know, Christmas time. Um, but I thought it would be fun to do the Halloween version of it. So, um, this is where I, look, I have a note. Check out Jennifer Perkins. Um, I uh, am friends with this lovely gal, Jennifer Perkins, and she puts this crazy twist on um, Halloween where she has uh, Christmas trees, but they're Halloween themed, and uh, she's super kitsch collector. Um, I just can't get enough of her, so... I recommend, I put the link on Facebook uh, to her blog and her, specifically to her Halloween uh, posts because I think they're so awesome. So um, I'm going to stencil these now. Now I thought she'd look great on this uh, orange background in black and um, I'm channeling Jen here with, these, with this idea. So. You know, she's bigger than the, the wood, but I think it'll look cool. Her face is just so dramatic, uh, Bride of Frankenstein. And then for the black one, I thought this pumpkin uh, stencil actually here with the face fitting on the black shape. So I'll get started with the black. Um, this one. So again, I always say this, um, stenciling is a dry brush technique and so very little paint goes on on here. I'm trying to get rid of that shadow for you guys. So, or maybe it's dramatic, the shadow for Halloween. Uh, so you could fill in the larger areas first because you have a lot of paint on your brush compared to once you start using it a bit. So I fill in that, like the detail in the eye is just so small and nice that, you know, you really want to go very dry. So uh, I'll fill in all this other area first. It's an up and down motion like this. We sell all the monsters, so you could have ornaments of every one of them. <laughs> you could have, um, if you want to go more of a beautiful Halloween, you can do just orange and black patterns. Um, you'll see on our site, we sell the kits for the, 
hear that truck? Well, I hear it here. It's very loud. Um, Brooklyn, it's loud. So then here, I have the string in here already because I had it hanging, but you know, I could just paint the string while we're here. Filling this in. Probably take two layers. But this paint dries very fast. It's an acrylic, so it's just drying as I'm under this light. This is dark enough to show you her. I've actually never painted these with the Halloween theme, so I think it's fun. Wow. Okay. Imagine this hanging in your house. <laughs> Love her. And... Then this, okay, the reason I painted it black is because where you see the plastic will become the black because it's gonna block our paint from the orange paint. So I'm painting orange paint over this black. We'll see how we do. I'm sorry about this light. Painting on black is a, um, takes a bit of coverage, so this is definitely going to be a, a two-layer two job. I'm going to come over here. There. That's better. All right. Much better. Tapping away. Now, one thing I always say is you have to be patient, and I'm maybe because I want this to show you it so bad, I'm, I'm going fast, but this is something you could sit down and really take your time with, let it dry, do another layer, so bear with me while we do it a little slower. Now, what are you going to do with all these ornaments? I guess you could put them on a tree like Jan, or you can string them from a light. You could string them outside, which I think, you know, they're quite suitable for outside decor on, on your uh, trees in front of your house, maybe, um, or on a string, kind of like our Halloween banner. Um, Give it a quick zap. This. That is a heat gun and it just makes this go really fast. So now you can put a second layer. got to be careful with those heat guns if you have one because they are also used to take paint off of projects. So <laughs> um, just a quick, quick zap with it was, was all I needed. don't know if you shop on Zulily. Have you heard of Zulily? Well, we had a sale on there, so sign up and keep an eye out because we're going to do more with them so you could take advantage of um, sales on there, um, which was fun. It was our first time doing that. And um, like I said at the beginning of the recording, that um, we're also running a sale on our website right now. And if you use Halloween 20 or Hollow 20 at checkout, um, you'll get 20% off. So that's pretty good savings. Okay, so that's quite filled in. Let me show you this one. <laughs> it's great. 
Now, I went a little heavy right there. You can see that crack has some um, some bleeding. But what I what I like to do is take tiniest brush and take black paint and just paint into it uh, to to clean it up. But here's the two ornaments and. Of course, now that I see this, I want to make like a hundred more. And um, so, Christmas, modern Christmas, uh, Halloween. So, I love these. Um, Pride of Frankenstein, Mean Pumpkin, Jack o' Lantern. That is. Okay, I'm going to have to make a lot more of those. <laughs> All right, let me show you the next project. I like to do three or four projects per. Facebook video, so um, keep that in mind every time you tune in. You're going to get a lot. Um, all right, so this uh, painting I did, I just put it away every year and then I could hang it up for Halloween. Um, it's the Five Monsters, and this is a black canvas. I bought it black, uh, which was nice that the store had it black already. Um, just a um, simple stretched canvas. And then I put a smear of color here, 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 and here, and then I put the monsters over each. I point that out because um, when you paint the many of the stencils in a darker color, um, they just look better. So I had to create something lighter to instead of painting on black. So I made some colors and then uh, put the stencil over it. And um, so I did that same process here. Um, well, first I'll tell you what I did here. Um, so this is, again, a black canvas. And I had this vampire book that I got at a discount store that had all different cool pictures of... Um, well, this is the one I liked, this map of Transylvania. Um, and rather than ruin the book, I just snapped a picture and emailed it to myself and printed out the map. Uh, picture and then I tore it and I decoupaged it to the canvas and then keeping in mind that I want to put the stencil uh, I want to put two stencils over this I want to put this bat here and I want to put Dracula here so it's like, he's in Transylvania, you get the theme here. So, <laughs> so what I did was, at first, I just created this cloudy, like, you know, mysterious fog over the decoupaged map. Uh, and now we can put a little spray adhesive on the back of the stencil to hold it in place. I always say that so that you get that detail. Um, get the detail of, you know, all these little pieces, you want to hold them down with that, that adhesive. I'm just letting it dry, tacky to the touch. See? Then we could place it, I think he should go over the map, but not block the word Transylvania. Um, he could be going off the edge here, but we get the idea. He is Bela Lugosi, Dracula. And he becomes this bat, right? Awesome, the bat flying. I like layering it over the paper a bit. So this is mixed media Halloween. <laughs> I think black again on uh, his face would be great. Black for both of them. Uh, and then you could add, um, if you have some found object that goes with this Halloween theme, like um, I think skeleton keys would look awesome. Um, whatever else you think uh, might look Halloween-ish. Um, so you get that whole mixed media vibe of uh, paint, decoupage, uh, stenciling, and found object. I don't have skeleton keys here, so uh, 
maybe I'll add some something to it later if I find something cool. <laughs> and you're just filling it all in. I'm going. Canvas is great to paint on, and, and the paper is working the same way. Filling it in. Okay, I mean, look at this layering. This is awesome. So, now I'll do the, well, let me show you this better. I mean, that looks so good. And then the bat. Doesn't take a lot of paint. Filling it in. So, you could do a swirling motion too, like this. for the reveal. Let me get the whole painting in, in the picture here. Okay. All right. I mean, having your own <laughs> Halloween paintings up, like that's crazy decor. I love it. Uh, I might add to this. I might add some dimensional keys or something. I got to figure that out, but I think this is cool. Here's the bat. And like I said, you can get more colorful, like this. Um, I'll just show you some other things we've done with painting and wood and decoupage. Um, this, I just painted that same bat onto this slab of wood that I got at Michael's. It's birch, and I think that alone, sitting on a mantle, is just really cool decor, or you could mount it to the wall. And then this one, this skull that we sell, um, I stenciled the skull onto paper and cut it out around the whole shape of the skull and then decoupaged it onto this, um, again, birch. So look at these together, like creepy, awesome, woodsy, witchy decor. Awesome for Halloween. Um, the sugar skull stencil we did on a wood panel that um, you could get these at art supply and craft stores as well. This is the two layer stencil, so I did the skull in. So I just forgot to shut off my ringer. Um, did this silver silhouette and then all black detail. Uh, and then you remember more use of the sugar skull if you want to get much more creative, uh, more colorful, let's say, um, on this tin. And I sealed it now with a um, acrylic spray so that this isn't going anywhere when I now put food in there. So that's everything this week. I hope I've inspired you with these projects. Um, I'll just pan over here and show you next time. I have big plans for these pumpkins. Um, so I couldn't find real ones yet. So um, that is next week I've, I've got some fun projects and different thinking on how to do these pumpkins than i've seen out there and uh let me find okay thank you for tuning in to make it mondays let me get my halloween stuff in the background okay um there uh thank you um so we did glass we did wood uh ornaments um, the ornaments are on our website everything's on sale right now um halloween 20 is the code um, I put up all the links on facebook.com slash stencil1. Um, then this video we post again to our YouTube channel. So um, if you didn't catch it live, then um, you, know, you can always rewatch it at your leisure. And uh, we will also put up all these posts on our page, stencil1.com, under blog. So you can also see step-by-step -step photos. Okay. So thank you for watching Make It Mondays. This was video four, and uh, see you soon. Thanks.